Hey, what is going on guys? It is your boy King Superior aka the Delay God and I'm back with another video Now I apologize if you hear my neighbor's dog going crazy outside man. There's nothing I can do about that But the grind don't stop man. I don't care how much noise is outside I'm gonna keep dropping these videos to y'all bro. I'm just gonna block it out and keep grinding you feel me? Now look, I'm here to drop the yearly dribble tutorial that I do every single year around Christmas time. Around Christmas time, either Christmas Day or Christmas Eve, I drop an ultimate dribble tutorial with a bunch of different dribble moves you can use as a beginner. A lot of people tend to get the game on Christmas Day, so it's a lot of new people on the game around that time. This video is really dedicated for people like you guys, alright? For the people that's getting the game on Christmas Day. Uh, so without further ado, man, let's jump right into the dribble tutorial. I'm going to show you guys some of the best dribble moves you can use first before we actually get into the dribbles, all right? Let's get it. All right, so here are some of the best dribble moves you can use in NBA 2K20 as a beginner. Let's start with the dribble styles. So for the dribble styles, you can use Kyrie Irving, you can use Allen Iverson, you can use Jason Kidd, or you can use Quick. Now, before we continue, before I keep listening to these uh, dribble moves and stuff, some of these gym moves that I'm going to be calling out right here, I'm not going to have them on this player simply because I have multiple different players. So you're going to have to listen to the moves that I'm calling out because I don't have all of them on this player right here. Okay, this is my slashing playmaker. I have a lot of the other moves on my offensive threat. All right. So for the size of package, you could use Kobe Bryant or Steph Curry. For the moving crossover, you could use normal three or pro two. For the moving behind the back, you could use pro three or normal three. For the moving spin, you can either use Pro 4, Normal 6, Pro 5, or Pro 3. Those are the best moving spins in NBA 2K20, alright? For the moving hesitation, you can use Pro 1 and Pro 3. Those two are the two fastest hesitation, Pro 1 and Pro 3. And then you can use Pro 5 and Pro 8. Those are the four best moving hesitation. I'm going to repeat those. Pro 1, Pro 2, Pro 5, and Pro 8. Those are really good uh, moving hesitations. For, for the triple threat, you can use normal 2 or WNBA 2. If you're a shooting archetype, a guard, normal 2 is the better one, alright? So with that being said now, let's jump right into the actual dribble tutorial of itself. Let's get it. Alright, so first off, I'm going to teach you guys the most important move in NBA 2K20. If you're a newbie, if you're new to the game, this is the move that you're going to see all the elite guards doing. It's called the explosive behind the back. This move right here is going to cook you if you're new to the game. This move right here is going to change the way you play if you're new to the game. So this is a move that you must. This is a must learn move. Like previous years, the momentum cross was a must learn move. This year, this is the must learn move this year, all right? So I'm going to tell you guys how to do that, okay? So let's say the ball is in your right hands. What you're going to do is you're going to flick the right stick diagonally down to the left. And then you're going to push your left stick diagonally upwards to the left. That's if you're standing still from a standstill position. That's how you do it from a standstill. I'm going to repeat that one more time. Let's say the ball is in your right hands. What you're going to do is make sure you're holding RT or R2, whichever console you're on. Then you're going to flick the right stick diagonally downwards to the left. And then you're going to push the left stick diagonally upwards to the left. Okay. Now let's say the ball is in your left hands this time. What you're going to do is make sure you're holding RT or R2, whichever console you're on. Then you're going to flick the right stick diagonally down to the right. Then you're going to push the left stick diagonally upwards to the right. I'm going to repeat that one last time. I say the ball is in your left hands. What you're going to do is make sure you're holding RT or R2, whichever console you're on. Then you're going to flick the right stick diagonally downwards to the, to the right. Then you're going to push the left stick diagonally upwards to the right, okay? Like I said, this is a must-learn move this year. It's one of the hardest moves to guard. It's the most overplayed move this year. As a beginner, you're probably not going to run into that as yet because you're going to be playing a, a lot of other rookies and stuff. But as soon as you start to get to a high rep, you're going to be running into this move a lot. It's a must-learn move this year, okay? All right, so the next move I'm going to show you guys is how to do the explosive behind the back. From a running or sprinting motion i'm gonna show you guys how to do it off the hesitation so for this move right here you're gonna want to equip moving hesitation pro 8 all right so what you're gonna do is two different ways to do this i'm gonna explain both of them right here in this video all right so let's say you're sprinting to the right you're gonna be holding rt you're gonna be pushing your left stick to the right because you're sprinting to the right two ways to do it i'm explaining the first way right here First thing you're going to do is see a sprint to the right, all right? You're going to make sure you're holding RT still. You're going to flick the right stick diagonally downwards to the right, and he's going to do a hesitation. Once he does that hesitation, what you're going to do is just flick the right stick downwards. It's that simple, okay? 
And once he does that, you can turbo over to the left again. You can turbo over to the left and do the same thing. You're going to flick the right stick diagonally downwards to the left. And then flick the right stick straight downwards, okay? Pretty, pretty simple. I'm going to repeat that one more time. Let's say you're turbo into the right. You know what I'm saying? You're going to flick the right stick diagonally downwards to the right. Once he does that hesitation, what you're going to do is flick the right stick straight downwards. And if you want to go and do it to the left, after he does that, you're going to turbo to the left. Then you're going to flick the right stick diagonally downwards to the left. And then you're going to flick the right stick straight downwards. And you're going to be holding RT this whole time. Now, the other way to do this is really, really simple. And this way, is, is, well, both of them are really easy. You can choose whichever way is more easier to you, okay? So this is the second way. Let's say you're sprinting to the right. What you're going to do is make sure you're holding RT or R2, whichever console you're on. Then you're going to flick the right stick straight upwards. Once he does the hesitation, what you're going to do is flick the right stick straight downwards, okay? Really, really simple. You're sprinting to the left. What you're going to do is flick the right stick up and then just flick it down after he does the hesitation. Now, there is another way, there's another way to do alpha hesitation again, so I'm gonna I'm tell you guys this way, this way as well, all right? So what you're gonna wanna do is, let's say you're sprinting up the court, you're sprinting straight up the court, what you're gonna do is release RT. Then you're gonna flick the right stick straight upwards, he's gonna do a stutter step. That's, this, is, this one is actually faster than the one I just showed you. He's gonna do a stutter step hesitation. Once he does the stutter step hesitation, what you're gonna do is flick the right stick down after he does that, okay? I'm gonna repeat that one more time. You're sprinting up the court, and right when you're about to do the stutter step hesitation, you're gonna release RT or R2, whichever console you're on, then you're gonna flick the right stick up so he can do the stutter step. Once he does the stutter step hesitation, what you're gonna do is just flick the right stick straight downwards. This one is a lot faster than the one I just showed you, all right? So you guys can decide whichever one you wanna do a lot more often, you know what I'm saying? It's up to you. I just showed you guys three different ways to trigger the moving hesitation off of hesitation. Oh, wait, the explosive behind the back off of hesitation, all right? All right, so the next move I'm gonna show you guys is how to do the sham god off the explosive behind the back. If you're new to the game, this is the most overpowered move this year, man. There's a lot of things you could do off of it. And I'm going to show you guys how to do the sham guard off this, alright? Now, I'm going to tell you how to do it from a standstill position. And then I'm going to tell you guys how to do it off a of hesitation. So, let's say you're standing still. The ball is in your right hands. What you're going to do is make sure you're holding RT or R2, whichever console you're on. Then you're going to flick the right stick diagonally down to the left. Then you're going to push the left stick diagonally upwards to the left. Once he does the explosive behind the back, you're just going to release everything. You're going to release the RT, release the, uh, the left stick, just release everything. And he's going to do the sham god. It's really that simple, okay? Let's say the ball is in your left hand this time. What you're going to do is make sure you're holding RT or R2, whichever console you're on. Then you're going to flick the right stick diagonally down to the right. Then you're going to push the left stick diagonally upwards to the left. Once he triggers the explosive behind the back, just release everything. And he's going to do the, ex he's going to do the sham god, all right? Pretty, pretty simple, man. Pretty, pretty simple. All right? All right, so let's say you want to do it off a of hesitation this time, all right? Now, I showed you guys how the many different ways you can do it off hesitation, so I'm just going to pick a random one, all right? So let's say you're driving to the right, okay? What you're going to do is flick the right stick straight up or diagonally downwards to do a, a hesitation. Once he does the hesitation, what you're going to do is flick the right stick down. Once he does the explosive behind the back, you're just going to release everything again, just like I previously told you, okay? It's the same thing. You're just going to trigger the... um. The hesitation first, do the explosive behind the back. And once he does that, just release everything and he's gonna do the sham god. Whether you're doing it from a standstill or a moving hesitation, all you have to do is just release everything as soon as he does the explosive behind the back. It's really that simple. I don't think I need to tell you guys how to, how to do it to the left. It's really, really straightforward, all right? Now, the next move I'm gonna show you guys is a very, very simple move, but it's really, really useful, especially if you're new to the game and a lot of other gym moves are gonna be hard for you. This is one of the first moves you should learn to do if you're very, if you're new to the game, bro. This is your first 2K, your first time playing. This is one of the very first moves you're gonna need to learn. Why? Because it's very simple. And you need something that you could depend on as soon as you start playing the game. And you're not gonna be able to do all these other moves if this is your first time playing 2K. It's gonna be a little bit difficult for you. So the easiest move for you to do is just equip size up package Kobe Bryant. And once you do that, all you have to do is flick the right stick up. Flick the right stick up or just tap LT. Anyone is gonna trigger the Kobe uh, size of package. He's gonna put the ball between his legs. So you can just tap LT or you can flick the right stick straight up, all right? Now that's not it. That is not it. You can speed boost off this Kobe Bryant move, which is why I'm telling you guys, it's one of the moves you can depend on once you start playing the game. 
So let's say the ball is in your right hand, so what you're going to do is flick the right stick up. He's going to put the ball over to his left hand. Once he does that, you could turbo over to the left and he will speed boost. Really that simple. If the ball is in your left hand, you can flick the right stick up. He's going to put the ball in his right hand. Once he puts the ball in his right hand, what you could do is turbo to the right and he will perform a speed boost, okay? Now, if you, the ball is in your right hand and you want to turbo to the right, you flick the right stick up twice until the ball goes back over into his left hand. Whichever hands the ball ends up in after you do this move, you can turbo to that position, to that side of the court, and he will do a speed boost, all right? Now, I showed you guys how to do the Kobe Bryant move. I showed you guys how to do the explosive behind the back in this video. So what I'm gonna do for y'all now is I'm gonna show you guys how to combo them together, okay? You're new to the game, right? That's probably why you're watching this video. So I'm gonna show you guys how to combo the Kobe Bryant speed boost into the explosive behind the back. So let's say the ball is in your right hands. What you're gonna do is you're gonna flick the right stick up. Once he puts the ball over into his left hands, what you're gonna do is turbo to the left. As soon as you turbo to the left, you're gonna release everything for a split second. Just a split second, man. And then immediately you're gonna hold RT again. Once you hold RT again, what you're gonna do is you're gonna flick the right stick diagonally downwards to, to the right. Then you're gonna push the left stick diagonally upwards to the right. Okay? I'm gonna repeat that one more time. The ball is in your right hands. What you're gonna do is flick the right stick up. Then once you flick the right stick up, you're gonna turbo to the left. Once you turbo to the left, I, once you, yeah, turbo to the left, once he does a speed boost, you're going to release everything for a split second. Then you're going to hold RT again, all right? Or you could keep your hands on RT the whole time, but release both of your sticks. Once you do that, what you're going to do is you're going to flick the right stick diagonally downwards to the right, and then push your left stick diagonally upwards to the right, okay? Let's say the ball is in your left hand this time. What you're going to do is you're going to flick the right stick up. Once he puts the ball over to his right hand, you're going to turbo to the right, once you turbo to the right, you're going to release everything. Now, like I said, you could keep your hands on RT if you want, but if, you, if releasing everything makes it easier for you, which it does for a lot of people, do that, okay? So you're going to release everything for a split second, then you're going to hold RT again. Then what you're going to do is you're going to flick the right stick diagonally downwards to the left, and then you're going to push the left stick diagonally upwards to the left, and he's going to do the explosive behind the back. I'm going to repeat that one last time, okay? The ball is in your left hands. What you're going to do is flick the right stick upwards. Once he does the Kobe Bryant move, you're going to turbo to the right. Once you turbo to the right, you're going to release everything. Then you're going to hold RT again. Then you're going to flick the right stick diagonally downwards to the left. And then you're going to push the left stick diagonally upwards to the left. And that's how you do the, the uh, Kobe Bryant explosive behind the back. This right here is one of the most deadly moves in the game. If you're new to the game, this is going to be one of the best things you, you're going to learn as a beginner, bro. There's a lot more other advanced moves you can learn, but this is a very, very deadly move. And it's a good thing to add to your bag of tricks, all right? All right, so the next move I'm going to show you guys is the Momentum Cross, all right? Now, if you played previous 2Ks and you're now coming over to 2K20 for the Christmas, the Momentum Cross is a little bit different this year. It's just a little bit different, okay? So... What you're going to want to do is make sure you're holding RT or R2, whichever console you're on, throughout the entire animation. You do not release RT or R2 throughout the entire animation. That's one of the first changes this year. Second change is you have to make sure you're pushing your left stick diagonally upwards, not straight to the left or right. Like in previous 2Ks, you have to make sure that you're pushing your left stick diagonally upwards and you're holding RT throughout the entire animation. Now let me explain what I'm talking about. Now let's say the ball is in your right hands. What you're gonna do is make sure you're holding RT or R2. Then you're gonna flick the right stick to the left. Then once you do that, you're gonna push the left stick diagonally upwards to the left, okay? I'm gonna repeat that one more time for y'all. The ball is in your right hands. What you're gonna do is you're gonna flick the right stick to the left. Then you're gonna push the left stick diagonally upwards to the left. Okay, let's say the ball is in your left hand this time. What you're going to do is make sure you're holding RT or R2, whichever console you're on. Then you're going to flick the right stick to the right. And then you're going to push your left stick diagonally upwards to the right. One last time. The ball is in your left hands. Make sure you're holding RT, R2, whichever console you're on. You're going to flick the right stick to the right. Then you're going to push your left stick diagonally upwards to the right. And that's how you do the momentum cross on NBA 2K20. Like I said, the only difference is making sure you're holding RT the entire time and pushing the left stick diagonally upwards and not straight to the right, okay? All right, so I just showed you guys how to do the momentum cross. I showed you guys how to do the explosive behind the back previously in the video. Now it's time to combo both of them together, okay? So let's say the ball is in your right hands. What you're going to do is make sure you're holding RT or R2, whichever console you're on. Then you're going to flick the right stick to the left. 
then you're gonna push your left stick diagonally upwards to the left. Once you do the momentum cross, what you're gonna do is release the left stick for a split second. As soon as you do that, what you're gonna do is you're gonna flick the right stick diagonally downwards to the left. To the right, I mean, you're gonna flick the right stick diagonally downwards to the right. Then you're gonna push your left stick diagonally upwards to the right. I'm gonna repeat that one last time for y'all, bro, okay? The ball is in your right hands. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna flick the right stick to the left. Then you're gonna foot push the left stick diagonally upwards to the left. Once you do the momentum cross, you're gonna release the left stick for a split second. Then you're gonna flick the right stick diagonally downwards to the right. Then push the left stick diagonally upwards to the right, okay? Now let's say the ball is in your left hands this time. What you're gonna do is make sure you're holding RT, R2. Then you're gonna flick the right stick to the right. Then you're gonna push the left stick diagonally upwards to the right, okay? Once he does the momentum cross, you're gonna release the left stick for a split second. Then you're gonna flick the right stick diagonally downwards to the left. And then you're gonna flick the left stick diagonally upwards to the left, all right? I'm gonna repeat that one last time for y'all. The ball is in your left hands, okay? You're gonna flick the right stick diag. You're gonna flick the right stick to the right. Then you're gonna push the left stick diagonally upwards to the right. Once he does the momentum cross, you're gonna release the left stick for a split second. Then you're gonna flick the right stick diagonally downwards to the left, and then you're gonna push a the left stick diagonally upwards to the left okay now that's how you do the momentum into an explosive behind the back two of the most deadly moves in the history of nba 2k all right now if this is your first time to my channel i have a lot a lot a lot of dribble tutorials man i have a playlist in the description it's called nba 2k 20 tips and tutorials playlist okay the link to that is in the description if you want more dribble moves be sure to check that out, okay? These moves right here were just some of the best moves to learn as a beginner. I have more advanced moves in that in the playlist, okay? You could go check that out. There's a bunch, I'm telling you, a bunch of dribble tutorials in there for y'all. You know what I'm saying? This right here is just a beginner tutorial. I've made tutorials on some of these before, but this is just for all the people that's now getting the game for Christmas, okay? I do this every year for beginners. This is for y'all. Once you watch this and you like this, you could go check that place out for more dribble moves, man. Hopefully this video did help you guys out. Hopefully you did find it helpful. If you did, be sure to drop a like on this video, man. Comment, subscribe if you're new. My name is King Superior, and I will catch you guys in one of my other videos, man. Peace.